Hello everyone, welcome to Arrow Cody. Please show support to this broadcast. Please, by all means, share it with your friends, your family, and show some support and dedication and work that you put in every day in every blocks of life so you can form and mold yourself and better yourself as a spiritual being and better yourself as a mental and physical fitness awareness person as well as a spiritual leadership and become a better you. This channel is based on spirituality, it's based on uh, virtual reality understanding, and based on um, collecting your thoughts and simply thinking of your future ahead of time. And I hope y'all enjoy this stream, hope y'all enjoy this broadcast, share it with your friends, your family, and give a little bit of donation here and there. Arrow Cody, welcome to the show. Hello everyone, welcome to Arrow Cody, and we are hosting today a show broadcasting live stream to you, brought to you by Anchor, and we suggest you to try the app, it's a very good app if starting off to bring your show and radio show out there. And let's get started today, we are introducing you to Leo the Great, and we want Leo to, and we want to uh, see his input on you know, his spiritual living and what he's learned through his journey and spiritual lifestyle and how he made it in development to create opportunities to better himself mentally and physically. Yes. Go ahead. Absolutely. Can I go now? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh... It rules out in favor that those who strike themselves or strike others by bettering themselves and bettering others uh, tend to hit a roadblock at times. And they don't understand how they can trample over this roadblock. But there's an easy and simple way. With anger, you're able to explore more within yourself and how to better accommodate those problems that may come your way using exemplary and exonerary uh, motives to really pledge self-development and self-growth. Um, I'm joined here by Aero Cody, and he is a firm believer as myself, and we've recruited others in the past, and it's been an ongoing journey and an ongoing process, and it doesn't happen overnight, but as long as you keep your hopes up and your momentum and your motivation uh, concrete, then you shall really have no problems. I'm uh, sure Arrow Cody can vouch for that. Yes, basically saying life is like a journey and a lesson learned in time. But if we can take in consideration and learn the motives of what makes us who we are in the movements of the commitment of hard work and dedication we can create other opportunities for others to see what their hopes and dreams may be but they too can bounce and create opportunities for others to live in a lifestyle that is enlightened through understanding and cultivating itself to better yourself mentally and physically as well as spiritually because Life is a lesson learned in time, but also time is of the essence, which also means not all the time do you have the time to do what you need to do to get things accomplished. But if you can find that faith that lies beneath the balance between it, that's all you need. Just a little seed of a mustard seed of faith, and you'll find that motive to get yourself better and cultivate yourself to commit yourself in believing in something bigger than just attitudes or aggression, but a better understanding of life. Yes, and I can also vouch for that. Uh, people, uh, when you're conducting yourselves in everyday life, you tend to 
not only discover, but browse into a network that is far greater than yourself, which is those of contemporary issues that we face in this world. And um, knowing yourself better helps you better identify what you're able to deal with and what you're not able to deal with. What's more comfortable versus uncomfortable. Being in your comfort zone while being challenged, people. And with anger, you're able to see that all things work for the greater good of those who love the Lord. And with this being said, I encourage you all to look within this passage and look within this great potluck of opportunity to see that all things will manifest itself unto you once you start. All it takes is a start and a leap of faith to know that these things will occur if I dedicate myself and be devout in a way that I never thought possible. And it comes with believing yourself, challenging yourself, and empowering yourself. Believing in yourself, challenging yourself, and empowering yourself. So basically, to empower yourself, you got to discipline yourself. Can you go in detail how to do that? Well, how to discipline yourself. Um, it may start with remnant... Uh, virtuistic uh, practices like looking in the mirror, telling yourself that I am somebody, I will be great, and that I, I am capable of mastering this challenge that is set before me. It comes from a greater faith within yourself. You can also pray. You can also look toward anchor and just the name itself, anchor down, you know, uh, being committed and being actually forefronted and being grounded and stable enough to actually be able to discipline oneself. Um, discipline yourself may also come from reminder, reminding yourself that you are somebody, you will be capable, and that you are more than more than functional to achieve these great heights and depths that you set before yourself and that you challenge yourself to beat, basically. So, like... Is there a way that you can stare back at your reflection from the past and grow from the past and didn't grow from your past and dictate into a better future? Well, I would say viewing your past may also be hard for people. Um, it's very difficult for some people to reflect and retrospect on their past, uh, being that any trials and tribulations they have faced, uh, many unfortunate events may take place, um, and many uh, letdowns and disappointments. But once you view your future, your future must be greater than your present. It must be greater than your present because you have made it thus far. So seeing a reflection may be a downside or it may be or maybe it could be a, a motivation to some people. Uh, but you have to oftentimes be careful when you are reflecting because your yesterday makes today and your today makes tomorrow. And you can't go forward looking back. Words of wisdom. So you can go forward looking back to a certain point. You cannot move forward looking back. <laughs> See, what I get out of it is that if I'm looking back, I'm looking forward at the same time because I'm growing from my past mistakes to learn not to do it in the future. But view it as driving a car or handling a machine. You have to know, you have to be confident enough that you are capable of handling this machine, that you are capable of steering forward and not looking backwards while steering forward. Because your rearview mirror is set there, for a, set there for a purpose. Your windshield, what is in front of you, is set there for a purpose. Your side mirrors are there for a purpose. So in all directions, you must know that my compass rose is headed directly towards what's in front of me. Because that's what I can handle at this very point in time. Yesterday was history. All right, so... What I learned through my journey is that looking back in the past, I can develop my future to better myself individually and mentally and come to focus and concentration 
to actually come to accept that defeat is indebitable, which means there's no losing, there's no winning. There's a balance between the existence to coexist. So each individual's attitude and creativeness can create other attributes to better myself individually and prospectively understanding myself to look and reflect off of it to grow and strive to perfect in a future that is from behind into a better today. And one key proponent, one key proponent and excelling is accepting that, okay, I am only human. Let me not overthink. Let me not fill my plate with so much meat to where I cannot bear to eat the meat or clean my plate. So in simplicity, let me take this one step at a time. Let me gradually, gradually meet one feet at a time. I see. That's good. Well, is there anything else you want to say for the audience? Well, the audience, tune in. Uh, This TV uh, TV talk show, radio show will uh, be airing uh, hopefully within the next week uh, consistently. Uh, and we aim to perpetuate more understanding uh, avenues and more options for you all to choose from as far as contemporary issues up for debate or up for discussion. So just tune in and we will be in contact with you all. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all very much. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Goodbye. Bye, Leo. So, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed the show of live streaming cast on Anchor, and I hope y'all were able to better understand your spiritual side and awaken a better you and believe in something better and bigger than yourself, but believe in yourself as well as believing in something more than attributions of collectiveness and Intuitiveness, more on the aspects of striving to perfect a perfect you by simply giving and letting go and living by the faith that is provided by us, within us, and always has been with us and beyond the understanding and outspurts of the heavens that await us on the other side. So I hope y'all learned something. Hope y'all learned something from this view and uh, perspective. And I hope y'all can take in consideration that acceptance is growth and defeat is learning from your past mistakes to better yourself in the future. And that reflecting off of it is not all that bad. There's a balance between it. But if we can all learn to adapt through our changes, we can adapt through being a better us and a better spiritual being. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hope y'all learned something from this broadcast. I hope it was able to shine some light. And have a nice day. Stay safe, everyone. Arrow Cody signing out.